I think swimming can make a massive difference in children's life. I think it brings out confidence in them. It can help them to do things they thought they would maybe never be able to achieve when really they can. Everyone should get the opportunity to swim. I think it's something that everyone should be able to do. There should be no barriers set up there. Anyone can swim and anyone should swim. I think it's really simple. I, I, I don't view um, a disability any differently. Um, I think the way I take each athlete is, is on ability and right the way through from learn to swim to, to a senior level. I think it, every opportunity should be taken to, to try and include athletes. I've been swimming for as long as I can remember since I was a baby and then I just went through like the normal stages like joining Learn to Swim and I, I really enjoyed the classes and um, so the teacher at Learn to Swim suggested that I joined a club. Nobody's going to be great when they start something for the first time if they have a disability or not so everyone's going to be struggling at the start. It's not because of the disability, it's just because they need to learn how to do it like everybody else. Why should your child with a disability not get the same opportunities to swim as other young people? When I watch Tony, she can swim a lot faster and a lot better than a lot of able-bodied swimmers. And I just think it gives them a confidence and it shows they shouldn't be embarrassed about having a disability. You should, everybody is the same, so why not give them that chance? So uh, once I completed swimming lessons, I joined Ren 96. Um, and I was one of the first power swimmers that they took on. Once I got there, it was pretty, pretty much plain sailing from there. I was really fortunate to, to have a great squad around me, a great coach who always made sure I was involved. I swam at a disability club at the very kind of early stage of my swimming career, and the pool time was very limited. You join an able body club and you have kind of an abundance of, of sessions that you can complete, so I think kind of the access to, access to pool time and uh, the coaching are probably two of the most important reasons. Katie was very much isolated when she was on her cancer journey and she felt different when she started swimming again. Swimming in not just disability swimming but also mainstream swimming, Katie was making a statement there to say that I am who I am but um, I want to swim my best and if I have to change my stroke I will but I'm still going to give you a run for your money or a swim for your money. You can have a very talented, physically very talented swimmer but if they don't have the correct mindset, they don't have the growth mindset, um, then they probably will not reach their potential. Whereas you could have someone who's got less physical um, ability, but if they've got a terrific growth mindset, then they can go really far in swimming. Swimming just makes, it just makes you feel uh, doves, you know, when you're in the pool, but like when you're swimming with mainstream clubs. But I'm fully confident in uh, coming off to training in the pool with other people, so it's really good. A uh, good strain for them. Club training is important because there's always someone better than you, so it gets you into that mindset of you want to get better and you want to get faster. If there's anything in school that's bothering me, swimming takes my mind off it, and I've got my friends here and my friends at school, so if I'm not talking to someone in school, I can talk to someone in swimming, so it'll keep me like occupied and happy. There's no reason why athletes with impairments shouldn't be integrated into swimming clubs. We've all got things that we have to, to overcome to, to do things. It's just swimming at the end of the day, the same sport, still the same pool, 